Wow, what a privilege. I'm here on board the bridge of the greatest ship in the world, the Queen Mary II, and I'm by the side of the Commodore of the fleet, Commodore Christopher Rind. Thank you very much for joining us, sir. Keith, it's great to have you on board. Now, you've been working for Cunard for quite a few years, sir, haven't you? I've been with Cunard since I joined the QE2 back in 2005, so that's just over eight years now. And recently promoted to Commodore of the Fleet, which I'm... Could you explain that to anyone maybe that's not familiar with that term? It's the most senior captain in the fleet, but it is also by senior management appointment as well. Whereabouts are you from originally, sir, can I ask? Originally from New Zealand, but uh, joined uh, a British shipping company, p and uh, as soon as I fully qualified and then have been based in the UK ever since. So you've been working at sea most of your, or virtually all of your working life? Pretty much since I left high school, yep. Is there any part of the world you haven't seen yet? Antarctica, which is uh, interesting, and I should like to do that at some stage, but otherwise I've covered every continent in the course of this job. Now, I believe you've had a recent historic voyage on board the Queen Mary too. Our last eastbound crossing from New York was the 200th of this ship's life, which means she's done something like 650,000 miles in the last nine years. With a ship of this size, I mean, she's at 150,000 tonnes, if I'm, if I'm right. Um, I mean, how much fuel, roughly, are you using on a, on a transatlantic crossing? Or I'm guessing you don't do it by the gallon. I'm guessing it's probably more by the tonne. It's a fair amount. I can't quote you the exact figure, but we are certainly very mindful of the cost of fuel. And connected with that is, of course, our environmental responsibility as well as commercial responsibility and making it affordable for our guests as well. I know Cunard pride themselves on being uh, above all the different uh, guidelines for, for environmental, environmental policies. And uh, as you mentioned before, we take it very, very seriously. Mm. That's right. We have an environmental officer on board and we either meet or exceed any of the requirements of law for the environment. And your job on board as, as the captain, how much is it being on the bridge and how much is it being out meeting the guests and and maybe being, being the social face as well, because I'm, I'm thinking that's a big part of your, of your role as well on board. It is. You fulfil several functions on there. It's like being the mayor of a small town or the general manager, and the social side is very important. Guests or passengers expect that. But your connection with the crew who serve the guests and their happiness and welfare is very important. But the safety aspects, the running a safe ship, is paramount to all this and if I have to spend more time on the bridge to ensure that then I will but normally speaking it's the two officers of the watch who do most of the driving as you might call it up here who are well qualified young men operating a very safe system of work our standard operating procedures are all about doing things safely and making sure critical decisions are double checked before they are actioned and so that's how we make our ships safe. Commodore, it's an absolute pleasure to chat to you. I, I really appreciate it. I know how busy you are, particularly, you know, on, on these days where everything's turning around and you've got so much to do. Um, and, of course, you're, you're heading back out now, aren't you? On a, is it another transatlantic crossing? Westbound transatlantic crossing starting this afternoon and we'll be in New York next Saturday. Well, I wish you very, very safe seas. Thank you very much for chatting to us. Keith, wonderful to have you on board. Cheers.